can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Go question 66, the fifth question in the second set of the chapter 5. This is where the fun begins. This is where we're starting to use um, 3D cross product moments equations to you know, help us find the answer. Uh, it's going to be very long. I just redid the question before I made this video. It took me about 40 minutes. I uh, made one mistake somewhere. So yeah, bear with me. Let's get started. So, the smooth uniform rod AB is supported by a ball and socket uh, joint at A, the wall at B, and cable BC. To determine the components of reaction at A, uh, the tension in the cable, right here, and normal reaction at B, right, which is just normal force going to the X direction coming straight out. And the rod has a mass of 20 kg. Um, usually, when they don't say uniform smooth, then that's like right in the middle. That's where the center of mass is. Uh, doing these long problems, I would like to simplify as much information as possible. So we already know that the, uh, so let's just call this over here the weight, right? Uh, so the weight by the center of mass is equal to 9.81 meter per second square times 20 kg. Um, that should give you 196.2 newtons, right? That's one one thing down, and um, we know that BC, uh, the tension in this cable, uh, tension in this rod, I mean, sorry, in this rope, um, you can write that into Cartesian equations, right? Because, you, you know, from chapter three, we know, you know, for us to, or chapter four, for us to find the moment in 3D, we have to use the Cartesian equations and use the cross product. So let's just say T, uh, BC, right? the vector using the Cartesian form equals the magnitude uh, of T, BC um, times the unit vector of, of this line right here, of this rope. So what's the unit vector? It is each component divided by the magnitude of that, of the length, right? So it doesn't have any uh, uh, x, it doesn't have any x directions, right? Just going into this uh, y and z plane, so 0i. Um, over here for y, it, it um, moved backwards to the origin by 1, um, so minus 1. J and uh, went up, so it's plus a 0 0.5 K, right? And this whole thing is divided by 1 square plus 0 0.5 square, square root of 1.25, right? That's the length of this entire um, equation, this entire thing. Um, so then we can, using the sum of the forces, uh, equations to you know setting components into like equals to other some proportions of the other pro uh, components right so once you find like one components then you know you, you just need to time a number and find the other ones so you know domino effects and you find all the answers I like to list everything up so using the axis x direction right there's one x going that way right so NAX is must to be equal to NAB because that's the only two forces are going into the sorry uh, the only two forces are going into the x direction right and then this is the x direction and then y direction NAY uh, what's going into the y direction look over here this is one oops sorry um, this y direction should really go this way. Right, because there's only one force going to the y direction, and that is the tension of T. So T B C, the magnitude of that, times the components of the unit vector of the y direction, which is negative uh, one over one point two five. Right, and an A X over here. So oh, sorry, N A Z. My bad. 
in a Z. In a Z direction, there is the tension force as well, and there's also the uh, this direction at A. So it's in a Z equals, well, since we already said this side, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive. So now this becomes negative, this becomes positive, right? By moving components to the other side. Anyway, that should gives you 196.2 newtons uh, minus magnitude of T B C times the um, 0 0.5 over square root of 1.25. Yeah, and by that, you know, so because you know, if you if this is negative, right? This is negative. This is positive. This is positive. But if you move this to the other side, this becomes negative, negative, and positive. It it just means that, and this equal to zero. So it just means that we timed a negative one, right? That's how we get these equations. Uh, if you unable to do this, then maybe you should stop. You know, start thinking of changing your major. <laughs> anyway, um. So now the sum of the forces are, are finished, right? We listed all the sum of the forces equations. Um, now we have to do the sum of the moments, right? Sum of the moments. Um, first, just write it out. How how it's gonna be done? Well, it's how to do some you know moments. Let's do sorry moment at a right because you get rid of the most amount of unknowns at a single point. Uh, this equals to zero, right? This is a this is a, not a J. The sign on the Coleman sign on the computer. Anyway, um, semicolon. That's what I meant. So yeah, so the length of A to let's just say G because that's the center center of force over here, right? And this length, the cross product, uh, W, right? That should gives you one of the moments, right? What's the other moments is over here, right? So here's a little, a trick that you can use. If there's, if there are like N number X amount of forces coming into one point, coming from, coming out of one point, we can treat that, all of those forces as one force, right? Add all of those components, x, y, z components together, it gives you one force if they're coming from one point. So over here, we realize that T and MB are coming from one point. So, you know, we can summarize, summarize these two forces as one force. All right, so here's R, A, uh, B cross uh, T, B, C uh, plus and B, right? And this over here, this over here, let's just write it out, make it a simple, uh, a little simpler. Um, well, it's MB because that's the X direction. MB uh, minus one over 1.25 plus 0 0.5 over square root of 1.25, right? This whole thing is going to cross um, well, sorry. This whole thing is going to cross, yes, uh, it's going to cross RAB, right? So what's RAB? It's for the x direction, it moved uh, to the origin, so negative 1.5 meters and um, it moved for the y direction it moved positive by one so plus one and it moved upward by two so this is uh, two meters meters over here right and um, that should gives you this this so th this whole equation is over here the equation over here is this part of the equation, right? And now we have to do R A G over W across W, right? And what is that equals? 
Yes. So now we can already write into matrix because this is a little simpler. That's just like a simplification of the complicas complicated equation. This is already simplified, so let's just start doing the matrix, right? Three by three matrix, I, J, K. Um, since this is in the middle, so it's basically all the components halved of A, B. So A, B, as we calculate over here, is a negative uh, 1.5, so that would be negative 0 0.75. Oh, you guys, and do remember that A, R, A, G cross a W, right? It's the distance from the from the point of the moment to the force cross the force, right? Do not do these opposite sides, right? So that means right at the, the length on the top and the force on the bottom. Because if you do the opposite, it gives you the negative numbers, and that messed me up the last time. So 0 0.75, um, this is 0 0.5, and here is um, 1, right? Because here is 1 divided by 2, 0 0.5, 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Over here, 0, 0, um, calculated earlier, 1, 6, 1, I, 6.2. Right, because this force does not have an x or a y direction, only goes to z. And um, and this over here, let's write this whole thing into a matrix as well, a three by three matrix. Right, this is N B. No, nope, sorry. See, I made mistakes. Get rid of that. You know, we have to write the direction first, so it's 1, negative 1 1.5, 1, and 2, right? And this is NB, negative 1 over square root of 1.25, and 2. Okay. So, um, let's write out this, this part, right? Let's do the I section, uh, the I section, so you cover... Ignore this part. Well, remember this is a one in front of it. If this is a two or something else, you know, if you do the cross product of the um, axis, this could be important, right? So this is one. This is one over here. Cover these two letters. This times this minus this times this, right? This is I don't know. You should be able to to solve a three by three matrix by now. If you don't uh, watch my earlier videos or other videos on YouTube. They should teach you. So 1 times, well, this is 1 over here, so we can just ignore that. Uh, 0 0.5 times 1 and 6, uh, 1 and 6.2, um, and that's it, right? Minus, well, 0 times 1 equals 0. This is the I section, um, and over here, so cover the J, I mean, so cover these two letters, I, so 0 0.75, negative 0 0.75 times 1, 9, 6.2, and this is the j, well, this is your point. You know, 0 times 1 equals 0. And cover the k. Cover the k, um, 0, 0, so 0, k, right? 0, k over here. Now we do, we're going to move on to this part of the equations. So I cover this, these two letters. So that's cover, yeah, cover these two. Uh, 1 times 2 equals 2. Sorry, did I make a made a mistake somewhere? Yeah, sorry, this doesn't mean 2. This is this is 0 0.5 square root of 1.25. I'm so sorry. Yep. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's late. 10.30. Um, so 0 0.5 over 1.25 minus, so plus, right, because this is a minus, so 2 square root of 1.25. That's, that's, um, and remember, this is a TBC right here, right? This is a TBC right here. Those are magnitude of TBC times the components of the unit vector of the rope. So this is the I direction. And then here's one more, right? Cover this, this times this equals, um, well, 
zero point negative zero point seven five square root of one point two five uh, minus two and b right and over here is the j direction sorry and over here is the cover the k right so 1.5 square root of 2 right I think it's this this times this minus this times that um, that should gives you sorry that should minus uh, the MB and uh, that should gives you the K right and now we are going to plus all these three together all of these six equations well to simplify our uh, equations this is everything else is the same besides the numerator so 0 0.5 plus 2 point plus 2 equals 2.5 square root of over the square root of 1.25 uh, times the magnitude of t tension in the B rope BC um, plus I'm sorry, minus, right? Um, did I make a mistake somewhere? Yeah, anyway, it should be minus. One, nine point one. Um, yeah, zero point two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is going to the negative direction. Sorry, uh, this is going down, so it count as negative. Um, that's why it will be negative over here. Let's get rid of that. Sorry, oh my gosh, I'm making a lot of mistakes. And this thing equals zero. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna just a horizontal version of this. So this equals zero, and this is this is i. Right? This is i. And now let's do j, right? j, uh, 0 0.75 times uh, 1 point, um, uh, 1, 6, 9, 6, point 2. That is um, negative, sorry, so this should be negative as well, right? So this is a positive, so it's 1, 1, 4, 7.15 minus 2 mb and minus 0 0.75 over square root of 1.25 and this whole thing equal to 0 and here's k right k this is e relatively easy 1.2 um, times the tension of magnitude of tension FBC, rope BC equal to MB, right? Because this thing equal to zero, move this to the right side. That simplifies it. All right. Well, excellent. So oh, look over here. Um, we already solved this. We can already solve the tension at the magnitude of TBC, right? The magnitude of TBC. Um, well, this left side of left side of the minus sign equals to this, because you know the whole thing equal to zero. Right, so TBC, you put it into your calculator, uh, solve for TBC, you sh should give you uh, 43.9 newtons, right? And um, so let's write it back up. TBC equals 43.9 newtons. And uh, if we find this, then we can definitely find this one as well, right? Because this is already here. This is a Two, two, five. Anyway, um, and to find NB, plug everything into your calculator. NB should give you fifty-eight point eight six newtons, you know, or fifty-eight point nine newtons, and um, NAX equals to NB as we proved earlier over here. NB equals NAX. So NAX should also equal to 58.9 newtons. And then uh, everything, you know, you plug in TB 
See so over here it gives you N A Y. Plug that so N A Y should be thirty nine point two newtons. And um, if you plug and sorry, and N A Z you already have T B C plug it plug T B C over here times this and use this minus the your answer should give you N the normal force in the z direction at a. That actually gives you 177 uh, newtons. So yeah, go back, plug everything in. Nax gives you 50, uh, Nax, sorry. Nax gives you 58.9. Nay gives you 39.2. Nay gives you 177. And NB gives you 48.9. All these are Newtons. Anyway, oh my gosh, this is such a long video, as I said. But um, your professor shouldn't give you much homework on these type of problems. He will probably just give you a few of those and, you know, help you to understand it. Because this is really not something new. It's just something we did in Unit 4 and apply to this. And look how much time it took. Um, so, yeah, it's just... It's, it's not really how the difficulty it's mostly about keeping everything in check and you know doing the matrices and you know if you make a little tiny mistakes and the rest of your calculation calculation is doomed but uh, anyway I hope this court uh, this uh, video is a big help I'm really sorry for making some um, errors in between um, but I was able to catch those uh, later on so hopefully you will stay to as the end able to watch the full video instead of going down to the comment section and flamey anyway uh, hopefully it's a big help um good luck um on your homeworks uh, on this course and uh, hopefully i'll see you in my future videos um bye if you have more questions uh specific questions you would like me to do please comment in the comment section down below